Why can a huge cruise ship float, but a tiny pebble sink? If you thought weight, how heavy or light something is, is the determining factor for why things sink and float, think again. So then what is the determining factor? To answer that question, we're going to have to understand this word, density. What does that mean? Well, let's do some comparisons. Here is a picture of two forests. This one is dense, this one is not. How about city streets? This city is dense, but this city is not. And now let's look at John Travolta's scalp in his 20s and now in his 60s. His scalp was definitely more dense in his 20s. Density has something to do with how packed something is. Take a look at these two boxes. They are exactly the same size. The one on the left is packed with a lot of stuff. The one on the right, not so much. Lots of empty space. Which one has a higher density? The box on the left. So what is density? Density is a relationship between mass and volume. It evaluates how much stuff or mass is packed into a specific space or volume. The formula for density is density equals mass divided by volume. So let's say the stuff in this cube is one gram of mass and the cube is one centimeter cube. So the density of this is one gram divided by one centimeter cube. So that is one gram per centimeter cubed. You know what else is one gram per centimeter cube? Water. If we were to take one centimeter cube of water and evaluate its mass, there would be one gram of mass in it. Now here's how you determine whether something will sink or float in water. This pebble has 2.5 grams per centimeter cubed. It is packed with more than twice the stuff in a cube than water. And this cruise ship has about 0.5 grams per centimeter cubed which means that it has less mass packed in the cube. So anything more than the density of water will sink and anything less dense than water will float. Will this ping pong ball float or sink? How about the penny? And how about you? Well, I guess that depends on whether or not you are relaxed and fill up your lungs with air. The more you tense up your muscles, the more dense you become. Now that you know what will sink and float in water, is that it? Well, water is not the only thing to evaluate sinking and floating. There are lots of other fluids like oil. Vegetable oil has a density of 0.9 grams per centimeter cube. That's, that's less dense than water. So what will happen when you mix water and oil? Water will sink in oil because it's more dense than the oil. Or you could see it like this, oil will float in water because it's less dense than the water. So it will look like this. When we think of things sinking and floating, we have to consider density. Less dense fluids will float on top of more dense fluids. If many fluids are mixed together, they will naturally layer themselves from less dense on top to more dense on the bottom. Which of these fluids will float to the top? and which will sink to the bottom. Pause this video and put them in order from floating to sinking. If you guess this to be the answer, then you are correct. In summary, density determines whether something will sink or float. Density is a measure of how much stuff is packed into a given space. Its unit of measurement is commonly known as grams per centimeter cubed. More dense objects will sink and less dense objects will float. Thanks for watching.